welcome today is part 14 of the chapter coordinate system and straight lines in two dimensional geometry and this is for preparation of jee main and advanced and for different state level joint entrance examination today our first problem is problem number 59 of that chapter and the problem is the image of the point p 1,6 with respect to x plus y is equal to 3 options minus 4 3 3 minus 2 2 minus 1 and minus 3 2 a very simple question a point is given a straight line is given we have to find its image point with respect to that straight line. It is of that type, say, this is x plus y is equal to 3, and p is the point 1, 6. Image point can be obtained by drawing perpendicular from this point to that straight line and extend it to a point Q such that PQ, P, sorry, it means, suppose it meets straight line at the point O, so PO is equal to OQ. First draw perpendicular straight line from P on this given straight line X plus Y is equal to 3. Suppose it meet straight line at the point O, then extend it up to Q such that PO is equal to OQ. Then Q is the image point. Suppose it is A comma B. We get that O is the midpoint of PQ. So its coordinate that is that of O can be calculated as 1 plus a by 2 and 1 plus sorry 6 plus this is 6 plus b divided by 2 coordinate of a. Now o lies on pq as well as o lies on that one also. So o must satisfy it. Therefore we must have 1 plus a by 2 plus 6 plus b by 2 is equal to 3. Therefore, 1 plus a plus 6 plus b is equal to 6. That is, a plus b is equal to minus 1. 6 cancels minus 1. Similar, again, one more thing that PQ straight line is perpendicular to the given straight line. Therefore, uh, their product of their gradients must be minus 1. Gradient of the given straight line is minus 1 into gradient of PQ. It is B minus 6 by A minus 1. That is equal to their product is minus 1 because they are perpendicular. Therefore, b minus 6 minus 1 cancels is equal to a minus 1. That is a minus b is equal to minus 5. So we get two things. What two relation between a and b? a plus b is equal to minus 1. a minus b is equal to minus 5. So adding we get 2a is equal to minus 6. So, A is equal to minus 3. 
if a is equal to minus 3, then b is equal to plus 2. So, minus b is equal to plus 2. By putting this value of a here, we get b is equal to 2. So, minus 3 and plus 2 is the answer of the image point. That is option d is correct. <coughs> Next. 60. Problem number 60. Problem number 60 is in triangle ABC, its ortho center and circum center are at 2 1 and 5 4 then its centroid is options 5 comma 3 by 2 4 comma 3 3 comma 4 by 3 and 5 comma 3 so in this case the given problem is a triangle abc is given its ortho center is at 2 comma 1 circum center is at comma uh, 5 is at 5 comma 4 to find centroid. Orthocenter means if perpendiculars are drawn from vertex to opposite sides, they will meet at a point that is orthocenter. And circumcenter, uh, one is at the circumcenter means if a circle is drawn through the vertices of the triangle, unique circle is possible then each center is circumcenter. And centroid, once again I am discussing, centroid is the point of intersection of the medians. So of them, orthocenter and circumcenter are given, we have to find centroid. In the beginning of that chapter, I give you an, one information that orthocenter, circumcenter, sorry, orthocenter, centroid, and circumcenter of any triangle are always collinear. Means like that. Say for a triangle, if this is circum orthocenter, this is say centroid. And this is a circumcenter. For any triangle, they are collinear. And centroid divides orthocenter and circumcenter internally in the ratio 2 is to 1. From that information, very easily we can get the coordinate of centroid. Orthocenter is this. So centroid, suppose this is x comma y. So x is equal to 2 into 5 plus 1 into 2 divided by 3. That is 10 plus 12 by 3 so that it is 4. Capital Y. 
it is 1 or rather say 2 into y coordinate of circumcenter that is 2 into 4 plus 1 into 1 divided by 2 plus 1 that is 3. So 8 plus 1 9 by 3 so that it is equal to 3. So 4 3 is the uh, centroid of the triangle. Answer is B. If that information is known to you that uh, these three are collinear and centroid divides orthocenter and circumcenter internal in the ratio 2 is to 1, then very easily we can obtain that. This is a very important type problem. So next. Problem number now 61. Central, sorry. 61, problem number 61. Without rotating axis, the origin is shifted to 3, 2. Then coordinate of the point 5, 4 with respect to new system of axis is options. 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 3 comma 3, and 4 comma 1. Let us see the problem. Suppose this is axis system x axis y axis now in that problem it is given that origin o is shifted to the point 5 4 it is say odast origin is shifted to that and without rotation of axis axis are changed means uh, x axis will be there y it is parallel to that y axis will be there so origin is shifted to this without rotating the axis so this is parallel shifted to there this is parallel shifted to there and suppose this the new axis is capital X, capital Y. And initially, suppose this point is uh, 5, 4. Oh, no. Just one minute. Uh, 3, 2. This is 3, 2. Origin is shifted to 3, 2. And the original point is 5 comma 4 then we have to find the new coordinate of the point p with respect to new system of axis that is capital x and capital y from here from here it is very clear that this is perpendicular so this is 3 this point Perpendicular is drawn. This is 5. And this is with respect to new axis. Suppose its coordinate is capital X, capital Y. So this is capital X. This is capital Y. So from figure, it is very clear that this is means 5. 
old in old system x coordinate is equal to this plus that that is this plus this so formula is if x and y are coordinate then small x it, it will be equal to if it is shifted to 3 to then x coordinate of the new origin plus this one that is capital x so this gives us capital x is equal to x means 5 5 minus 3 so that it is 2 and y that is which is nothing but 4 is equal to it is equal to this plus that that is this means 2 plus capital y gives capital y is equal to 4 minus 2 that is 2 so 2 2 is answer of the point with respect to new axis system so option a is correct next sixty two problem number 62 and the problem 62 is without rotating the axis the origin is shifted to 2 comma beta beta is positive if with respect to new system of axis the constant term of the equation x square plus y square minus 2x plus 7y minus 8 is equal to 0 is absent then beta is options 4 2 1 Minus one. Sorry, sorry. Minus the it is plus three. So here also, origin is shifted to a point two comma beta, like before. But here beta is unknown quantity, and this is known. So origin is shifted to two comma beta, given that beta is positive. then uh, with the axis of with the uh, coordinate of new system of axis equation of this become such that its constant term is absent then what is beta now from the previous problem we tell you that x is equal to alpha plus capital x and y is equal to beta plus capital y what does it mean if x y are coordinate of a point with respect to old system capital x capital y are coordinate of that point same point with respect to new system and alpha beta is the point where the origin is shifted here in this case x is equal to 2 plus capital x and y is equal to beta plus capital y now capital x capital y are point with respect to new system whose old system is with respect to old system coordinate is x comma y small x comma small y so equation become x square means 2 plus x whole square plus y square beta plus y whole square 
minus 2 into x that is 2 plus capital X plus 7 into y capital Y minus 8 is equal to 0. Now we are given that with respect to the new system of axis constant term of the equation become 0. Let us see what is the constant term exactly constant that is free of capital X and capital Y. This is constant term is equal to from here we get 4 from no other term is there which is absolutely constant. Similarly from here it is beta square minus 4 plus 7 beta minus 8. This is constant term. As per our constant, uh, as per our condition, and this constant term is absent, that is, this must be 0. So we get beta square plus 7 beta minus 8 is equal to 0. So we can solve for beta. It is beta minus uh, 8 though. This beta plus 8 into beta minus 1 is equal to 0. Just one minute. Beta square, then 8 beta, 7 beta minus 8. So either beta is equal to minus 8 or 1, but the given information is that beta is positive. So we have to take 1. So option C is correct here. Next. Problem number now 63. Problem number 63 is two equal sides of an isosceles triangle are along 7x minus y plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus y is equal to 3. If base passes through 1 comma minus 10 one possible equation of base is option 2x plus y is equal to 8 sorry equal to 0 3y minus x plus 31 is equal to 0, 3y plus 2x plus 28 is equal to 0, and y plus 4x plus 6 is equal to 0. Achha. Let us see what is the problem. 1. Isosceles triangle is given. So ABC is the isosceles triangle. Its two equal sides is this and that. And its base passes through the points 1, comma, minus 10. Then one possible value of the base, one possible equation of the base, how much? What is what is that? It is options are there. Now, 
usage base, it passes through that point. If we can somehow find the gradient of the straight line, then only we can find the equation of the base. And here, given that it is isosceles triangle, so this angle is equal to that angle. Mind that angle to be measured in anti-clockwise direction. So let us start here from this to that. So it is anti-clockwise. This is also from that to this. It is, oh, sorry. This is anti, it, it to be anti-clockwise. So this is from this to that anti-clockwise. Oh, this is clockwise, sorry. This is clockwise. So that also be clockwise. If it is clockwise, then this is in that direction. Suppose M is the gradient of the straight line. Its gradient is 7. From there, y is equal to 7x plus 3. So y is equal to 7x, 7. So 7 is gradient and its gradient is minus 1. Now, as because isosceles, this angle is equal to that angle. And we have to keep in mind that the angles, when this is equal to that, to be measured in same sense, same direction. I am counting it from clockwise direction. So, as per condition, 7 is tan theta is equal to m1 minus m2 by 1 plus m1 m2 minus m m1 minus m2 by 1 plus 7m. It is equal to m minus 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus m into plus m1 m2. That means we must have this is m plus 1 by 1 minus m by cross multiplication 7 minus m into 1 minus m is equal to 1 plus 7m into m plus 1 so that 7 minus 8m plus m square is equal to it is equal to 7 it is m plus 7m, that is 8m plus 7m square plus 1. So taking all into one side, it is 6m square plus 16m minus 6 is equal to 0. That is 3m square plus 8m minus 3 is equal to 0. So that it can be factorized at 3m square plus 9m minus m minus 3 is equal to 0. So that 3m plus uh, taking 3m common it is equal to 3m plus 3 minus 1 m. Oh, oh. <laughs> it is 3m square. Okay. Its gradient is, what is the gradient? Just one minute. Mm, 3. m should be 3. Acha. It is actually, uh, we have to fa factorize that, and that factors are it is minus 9. So, this is, this is not okay. It is minus 9, so uh, 3m square. Uh, so actually, you see, m is equal to 
by Sridhar Acharya process. It is equal to minus 8 plus minus root of r b square minus 4 ac. It will be plus 4 3 into 3 divided by 2a. That is minus 8 plus minus root of r of uh, it is 9, 36, 36 plus 64 is 100, so it is by 6, that is it is minus 8 plus 10 by 6 or minus 8 minus 10 by 6, that is it is 2 by 6 is 1 by 3, 2 by 6 or it is minus 18 by 6, that is minus 8. So, there are two possible equations of the base passing through this, whose gradient of 1 is 1 by 3, uh, so that equation become y plus 10 is equal to 1 by 3 into x minus 1. That is 3y plus 30 is equal to x minus 1. That is 3y minus x plus 31 is equal to 0. 3y minus x plus 31. So answer B is correct. We must get another equation uh, whose gradient is minus 3, but it will not match with any one of them. We have to find one equation, one such equation, and which is nothing but uh, B, option B. <coughs> so, okay, let us stop today. And I would request you to please subscribe my channel. Thank you.